Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be doing our Redstone Weekly, which today's Redstone Weekly is going to be a bank thingy, a deposit. And the reason I call it a thingy is because it's not exactly done yet. And so, let me just say, this is going to be insanely fun and insanely useful to use once I finish it. So, let me just get right into what it does. So, the deposit button. It is supposed to be for a bank, and eventually I will try to make it for separate person systems where it actually detects. Or there's a, like test fours for person, or there's just simply a button to press to deposit. Because why would you want to deposit into someone else's? So, I just, I'll just have buttons for deposits, and it'll deposit into whoever's corresponding buttons was pressed. But, for now, you press deposit. It says preparing for a deposit preparing for deposit please wait you may now deposit this little piston trap thing opens up and after a certain amount of time it's going to say error no input string given deposit terminated and that is caused by a i'll just go run through the steps as um god really every time i try to record so um because of that that is done by uh first of all the let's just start from the basics deposit presses this activates a command block which says slash say preparing for your deposit please wait and then that goes into our little redstone goes into on the left side we have a bunch of repeaters that go into you may now deposit that time that are approximately the time that the pistons activate because um, of the other direction i'll show you that in a sec this goes over to the side which goes over here with some more delay this goes into three different paths and i'll get into the other different ones but this is the first one so it goes left, which goes over there. I had to do certain repeater uh, things to make sure that the reds had enough delay. So it goes this way, it goes this way, it goes this way. And it has a thing where the pulse only lasts a second. That will help for something else later. But it will go through here, and that's another piston thing for later. Uh, redstone, and then it says error. No input string given. Deposit terminated. So uh, that is done by that. And if you um, give an item, which actually, wait, let me have to, I'll have to grab an item. Uh, we'll do this. Wait, let me make sure the actual clog is clear. For now, I told you it's no, nowhere near completed. Normally, let me just set it up real quick because of the fact that for the video, I just need a piece of grass and some redstone. So, uh, let's grab that. Let's grab, um, actually, I'll have to do it right here because of the fact that I've changed it up a bit. So, it goes right here, goes redstone repeater. I don't know if this uh, still works, considering the fact that I've changed up the design since I used to have this system. And then I figured out it only works once per each one. So, because of that, I'm going to have to have this thing. So, uh, deposit, if you press and you throw an item in, like such, say, a grass block that I would not miss with. And let's just wait to the next one. Uh, of course, input string again. And hopefully I don't miss this time. Okay, you may now deposit. And then it says, thank you. And then it eventually will say, it, it will, would say, um, hopefully it still works. I don't know if it will. But normally it would say, um, wait, did it even go through? Because it didn't say processing, did it? Uh, apparently that didn't work. I'll have to check why. Uh, oh, because I destroyed the minecart. It, yeah, it's here. So. Uh, who I don't know who did this exactly because I this is actually uh, my, some of my friends. Uh, I do play this server with my friends, so uh, I'll put that there. And when I do that now, it would normally say processing, but I won't get into that now. So the fact that it said thank you, we'll get into that. So um, when it goes through these hoppers down here, which is just connected to that hopper right there, which you throw items into, there's a comparator with a repeater, of course, to keep the signal going. It goes up here, and I'll get into all this over here. It goes down and it has a delay. This piston, when retracted, when it gets a pulse from back there, because it's an inverter and everything, when it gets this pulse, it will pull back and that will block the signal of this redstone, which comes from the error input thing. So when it blocks this pulse, it has to be, um, that's why I made this a one tick pulse, so it's easier to block, so it's not, you don't have to keep the piston back so long. But since uh, so when that blocks it, it won't say error or input string, no input string detected. But the problem is, uh, there is such a long point where you can throw items in. There's such a, it's like five seconds of a time that you can throw an item in. So because of that, this 
even with a one tick pulse, this a normal pulse of redstone does not last five seconds. So I have to over here increase the signal. These are all signal increases. And I've done about one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've done about six. So this, of course, signal increases. If you don't know what they are, it normally goes through. Normally, of course, right here, it just goes straight through. But you know how you have to put plenty of repeaters. They can be super compact such as just over here, four repeaters in a circle. But I didn't do that over here because I, I didn't anticipate so many. So this goes over here, which flows through here. This is a three tick delay. So the three tick delay stop, keeps the signal going even longer, but it, it, comes back, it comes back around and that's why this repeaters has to be here. So it can't just go in a loop and keep going. So they meet up right here and right after the signal has gone through, this signal after like three ticks approximately will have gone back through and connected with that last signal at the last tick so it makes a double pulse signal that's twice as long so i've done that about six times and they all mat up, match up and they make that signal really long so if i press this button uh let's do this i'll throw another item in and it's actually going to say processing this time so uh, i do that and then if you see that piston retracts holds for a long time and stopped it just in time thank you processing so it didn't say error no input string detected incompatible currency confiscating it that's what i want to get into next so since it was not a this thing takes gold ingots as currency so with that being said um i'll get into the processing so because that goes step by step so those hoppers all connect just to over here so when this item gets a uh item this this hopper gets an item it gives a redstone signal this command block says processing simple process of saying processing then that signal goes through the command block goes all the way up here and starts this minecart. So as long as there are items in that hopper, this minecart will keep going back and forth. And every time it goes, it will get one item. So it goes a little slow, but it's actually pretty fast considering how fast it goes over this little minecart rail. So it's going to get an item, and when it comes up here, it will get sucked up by a hopper, which goes through in these hoppers. This is just a little design system I had before. I've had so many trial and errors. This part is going to be very difficult. That's why I'm stuck on this. So this will usually have all gold and it'll have exactly it'll have one slot it'll be 64 64 64 63 and then um if it does not go into that slot automatically it proves that it is not a correct item. well actually i don't need that anymore because i've changed the system so it goes down any item goes down here and it gets sucked over which this hopper i believe um no i don't think so actually yeah so this is the one that's actually supposed to have full gold and this is the one that's supposed to sort so when it sorts it'll only bring gold uh, this way and once it goes this way um, it'll get picked up by a minecart which comes down um, that'll be right there it'll, it'll just be going back and forth the whole time it, it's not gonna have a big thing so I'll just have a minecart with hopper just going back and forth non-stop so it'll just keep doing that and it'll pick up a couple items each time and it'll bring them back up and that'll bring the gold back up and so that'll filter out gold and any other items will be brought down here to this hopper and then it will uh right right here down where the skeleton is grass block uh, through it and it'll trigger a command block that says incompatible currency confiscating it now the problem with this system before is it would only say incompatible currency once because this would as soon as a the hopper gets an item it would stay on it wouldn't trigger the command block a second time now i'm realizing a simpler method where as soon as i get one item it'll say that and then suck that item out and i can also have that item come back around and drop on top of your head saying instead of confiscating it uh, the, um, returning to you so now I'm figuring out a simpler sorting system for that in my mind right now so I'll keep working on that but um, I think that's almost it so I'm just gonna give you a little overview of the redstone here oh and I didn't actually check out this path so once it goes right this the wondering how the whole piston door works it goes right which goes through a block which it keeps it as a one tick pulse because this that goes left which is only on um, a one more delay than this will push out and stop the pulse so it's a one tick pulse that goes this direction which will power the torch uh, this also gives it a second pulse but it'll power the torch power the piston to let the torch give power over here which will just uh, activate that's basically just a T flip flop because it'll push the block out and since it's one tick pulse it'll keep it out and then pull it back and then um, because of that it will the redstone pulse will come through and then it'll pull that and open the door and then the reason i have this so this connected over here is once it goes through again 
it will come back and power this a second time, which will, since it's already, it's a T flip flop and it's already pushed out, it will push it out and pull it back in. So it'll uh, turn it off. That's what turns it off. So you've pretty much seen all the mechanisms of what I've gotten so far. That's uh, the reason I have so many hoppers out there is because I was going to have a thing that tells you exactly how many, how much gold you put in to do a confirmed deposit to make sure, like, if you put in 62 gold, it would say, uh, 62 gold detected in your, in the, your deposit. Is this correct? And if it no, then it'll return all the gold that it has in the system to you that it just, you just deposited. Or if yes, and then it'll just, uh, deposit it in your current account. So, uh, this so far is all I have. And I'm trying, I'm, as you can see, I'm starting to get more, uh, a little bit more ideas for the sorting system at the end, which is going to be the most difficult part for me since I'm not very good with hoppers and such. And this is actually the first time I've ever made a hopper minecart rail uh, thing to because all I needed this for was the elevation to go back up. And for the processing, I thought it was a good idea. So if you have any ideas, you can comment down below and give me some uh, thoughts about this and maybe even try to build a better one of your own. Give me a link to the video and I will check it out. And uh, so if you really enjoyed the video, just you know, leave a like and favorite the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all.